Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn multiple ways to drag and drop the elements. So let's begin. Drag and drop is very much common functionality nowadays. So let me go to my browser and before that, this is the website we will be using for this tutorial. And let me go to the browser here and let me open this one here. And you see that uh, we have some elements here and I can drag them, right? I can drop them, I can drag and drop them, okay? So here, basically, I need to tell which allows for the logic in the website. So I need to give a correct answer, okay? So you see the websites having this kind of a structure where you have a quizzes and all the things, they usually have this kind of functionality. So for example, I need to drag this JavaScript from here and drop it here. But let me change this one with HTML. So it says try again. Okay. Then I will go with the CSS. It will say try again. So the correct answer is basically a JavaScript. So if I go and drop it here, it say correct. Okay. So this is uh, what we need to automate. We need to drag this element and drop it on the location. Okay. Now let's uh, go to the Visual Studio Code here and let me create one new file. I'm naming it as drag drag and drop dot spec dot js okay uh now of course we need some intelligence in this one so ps dash check and now what we need we need a playwright test here so const then we need test and if you need to assert, you can use expect here as well. And equals to require. And inside that, so we need a playwright test. Okay. Now, uh, with the test word or test method, we will start. And first, we need to name the test. So I'm naming it as drag and Job demo or tutorial and followed by a sync and now we now we need basically a page fixture here so page and followed by arrow function okay and the body of the arrow function and at the end of this one we have to close this one okay so this is our structure here and now the first thing is that we need to navigate to our website so await page dot go to and here we need to provide the url so this is a url so let me copy this one from here and now it here and now the first thing is that we need to locate the two positions here so basically if i go here and let me refresh this one so this is the one location or the element and this is the other location or the element so i need to identify this so that i can drag or drop them okay so if i refresh this one and let me inspect this one here so it has a class so when we are using a class so simply what we can do is that we can use with the with the dot right so when we are writing the css and if there is a class available then we can use a dot here okay so this is the one this is not the one so this is the one we need here and we'll go here simply here what I will do is that I will create two variables. So one for my source element and one for the target element. And here, this is my source element. And here again, page dot locator. And I need to provide the locator of this one. So if I go here, so simply I will use a selector hub for CSS selector. You see that uh, the CSS selector is with the dot here. So let me copy this one from here 
and let me just do it. Now we have a source element. Now we have target element as well. So const and I'm naming it as target element and again page dot locator and you will be using a CSS selector here again and now we need a locator of this one so we go here and inspect this one so this is basically a quiz option is drop so this is this is the one we need here again let me copy the CSS one and let me go back here in this tool now once you have the locator of your source element and the target element now simply what we will do is that we will drag our source element to the target element and this is again really simple in play right so await source element dot so there is a method called drag to okay so this is a method called drag to and here where we want to drag we will, we want to drag it over the target element okay that's really simple here yeah. okay and let me put some weight here page dot weight for weight for timeout and let me give here a value here okay and now we are good to go with the execution this is really simple we are navigating to the website we are identifying our source element we are identifying our target element and they are we are just using a drag to method for in order to drag and drop the element okay so let me save this one and let me run this one here so our test name is basically drag of you and let's run this and see what happens here so let's see yeah so it's working absolutely fine it, it dragged the javascript circle and dropped it to the answer one and that's absolutely working fine here now this is the one way and other way is uh what we call a manual way and again we need these locators here and i am commenting this line as of now so that we can learn the other way so uh basically once you have this locator uh, even right now we don't need to save them in a variable so we have this uh, page locator for this one and we will give here a weight a weight and a weight for this one as well so we have these two locators now and now what we will do is that we will simply here i will use the mouse events so i will hover there i will mouse down in simple words we are using the mouse gestures here so simply we have hover method here okay so we are hovering on our main element first okay then after that what i need to do is that i will use a wait page dot mouse is dot mouse then we have the mouse you know methods where we have click double click down move so we will be using a down here method so over then down this one on means drag this one then the second locator okay and again we use the uh, hover method here we need to hover on this one and again a weight page dot mouse dot up okay so so the that's that's 
the again really simple one and it should you know drag the element drop the element we are using the mouse gestures here okay. we are using the mouse events here now let me go here and run this again and see what happens so it should drag the element and drop the element yes it's completely working fine so that's how uh, you can work with the drag and drop elements thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial